uh, one of the students that we have right now actually posted this on the forum. Uh, the forum that we have is a great place for you guys to, to post some questions that we pull for the webinar. There's um, professionals on there as well as students, so your question will benefit other people. Mm -hmm. She said, I need clarification on the proper way to code for infusion of a drug, uh, Herceptin, J39559643, which are CPT codes, for one hour and 30 minutes of infusion. The diagnosis is breast cancer, and the scenario is, the reason for the encounter is for infusion of the Herceptin drug for a one-time visit. In the scenario, the second scenario, the reason for the encounter is for the infusion of the Herceptin drug for a series of visits. So you have the same thing going on, the difference is you've got a one-time visit and you've got a series of visits. So should the diagnosis be, and your those V codes, uh, the V58.11 is actually a code for um, uh, coming in often. The 174.9 is the cancer code, if you didn't know. So if you can eyeball that, what do you, you know, what do you think? What would you say would be the code if you, you didn't really know the, um, the answer, you're just going to give it a, the, the old hairy eyeball. <laughs> so that poll's going on, and I'm just going to go to the next slide where they, I actually have the code definitions. Oh, Okay, let's see. We've got about half voting so far. A little slower on this. People are thinking about it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't help if you don't have your code books in front of you. <laughs> so I'm going to close the poll in a few seconds here. Yeah, so V58.11 is an encounter for anti neoplastic chemo. The 174.9 is the unspecified breast cancer, and the V58.69 is long-term current use of other medications. Da -da -da. All right, let's see what they said. Interesting. Okay. So 34% said A, 23% said B, and 44% said C. So let's see what Alicia says. Well, I can tell you I understand what the thought process was behind putting the cancer code first, but in actuality, the patient is not coming in for the cancer. They're coming uh, to their visit to have an infusion. So that's going to be your first code. So that should have been a heads up to not put the cancer code first. So here we go. We've got an IV infusion of chemotherapy, which is that's what the medication that we gave you uh, was for one hour and 30 minutes. Now your CPT codes are going to be your 96413 uh, for the first hour, and then the 96415 is actually an add-on code, and that's for the remaining 30 minutes. Now you want to make sure that your documentation is going to support one hour and 30 minutes, and uh, not any less than that, or you won't be able to use that add-on code. Okay, now your diagnosis, the answer is V58.11 and the cancer code 174.9. And the rationale behind that is, I may have to scroll down just a tad bit on my screen, I think. Uh, okay, here we go. First of all, that Herceptin is a monoclonal antibody and is also classified as an atenoplasty. If the patient is, in, is encountering medical services for the purposes of the receiving this chemotherapy, you're always going to use the V58.11 first and then the actual cancer diagnosis. So when you come to a question like this on the, your board exam, then that's that's what you're thinking. They're not there uh, for the cancer. They're f there for the infusion or the chemotherapy. That's why it's the first listed diagnosis. Okay, so now you go on to say, I would not use the V58.69 as it's more, it's uh, actually intended for long-term use of medications. Uh, I think off the top of my head, long-term insulin use is like V5, 8.6, maybe 7, something like that. So think of it like that. Generally administered by the patient, but not always. So this is not being done. This is actually being done at a facility. Uh, so you're going to use the, it's, that's not the reason that it's a separate code, but that's why V58.69 isn't the proper code. So your V58.11 more closely describes what's going on at the moment. You do not put the 174.9 in front of the V58.11. They're not there for the breast cancer. They're there for the chemotherapy. 
Now, what's going to help you is if you always think about the reason why the insurance company would be paying for that moment in time. Another thing, chemotherapy is most likely always going to be a series of treatments, so you would still use the V58.11 for every encounter of uh, the chemotherapy throughout the series of treatments. Okay. Now I wanted to give a, a little heads up and shout out for uh, Lisa Pearson who worked this up for me. Uh, she's one of the coders that's doing the HCC coding with me and we're going through training together and uh, she's also an educator and I had sent this question to get some follow up on it and she worked that up which was fantastic. I really appreciate her doing that for me. And I put the slide back up for uh, Linda who said she wanted to see the question again. So there you go, Linda. <laughs> We're, we're multitasking. I'm reading the, the Twitter and we're... Uh... Yeah. And don't forget, this will be in the replay so you guys can come back to it. Yep. Get more CPC exam tips, coding certification training, and CEU credits. Go to www.codingcertification.org.